Welcome to GTC. We have a lot of exciting things to show you, so let's get started. We have a jam-packed keynote, but let me first share with you this year's IMAI, a celebration of groundbreaking work by scientists and researchers around the world. I am an explorer, finding a path through Earth's frozen expanses. And peering into the darkness in search of water on the moon. I am a guardian watching for signs of pollution from the sky and protecting us from danger here on Earth. I am a visionary, learning from the past to better predict the future and keep us safe for generations to come. I am a helper, keeping our most valuable species healthy and our crops abundant. making our hospitals smarter for the future. And unneeded treatments, a thing of the past. I am a creator, opening new paths to innovation. new forms of artistic expression. I am a storyteller, giving emotion to words. Und die Sprachbarrieren abzubauen. I am even the composer of the music. Brought to life by NVIDIA, deep learning, and brilliant minds everywhere. Accelerated computing starts with NVIDIA CUDA, 
general purpose programmable GPUs. The magic of accelerated computing comes from the combination of CUDA, the acceleration libraries of algorithms that speed up applications, and the distributed computing systems and software that scale processing across an entire data center. We have been advancing CUDA in the ecosystem for 15 years and counting. We optimize across the full stack, iterating between GPU, acceleration libraries, systems, applications, continuously. All the while, expanding the reach of our platform by adding new application domains that we accelerate. With our approach, end users experience speedups through the life of the product. It is not unusual for us to increase application performance by many X factors on the same chip over several years. Imagine the joy of a researcher whose simulation completed in half the time just by downloading new software. As we accelerate more applications, our network of partners experience growing demand for NVIDIA platforms. Starting from computer graphics, the reach of our architecture has reached deep into the world's largest industries. We start with amazing chips, but for each field of science, industry, and application, we create a full stack. We have over 150 SDKs that serve industries from gaming and design to life and earth sciences, quantum computing, AI, cybersecurity, 5G, and robotics. We introduced 65 new and updated SDKs at GTC this year. One of the major new industries that's accelerating with NVIDIA is design automation. I am thrilled to see ANSYS, Synopsys, Cadence, and Dassault accelerate the simulation of thermal, mechanical, 3D electromagnetics, RF interference, and signal integrity. A super exciting development is the work we're doing with ANSYS to accelerate ANSYS Fluent the world's leading industrial fluids simulation package. Early results with ANSYS multi-GPU solver show one DGX will replace 30 high-end dual CPU servers, leading to big savings in system cost and power. With the same total budget, customers can scale to much larger simulations. The number of developers that use NVIDIA has grown to nearly 3 million by six times over the past five years. CUDA has been downloaded 30 million times over the past 15 years and 7 million last year alone. The adoption of accelerated computing is accelerating. Our expertise in full stack acceleration and data center scale architectures lets us help researchers and developers solve problems at the largest scales. Our approach to computing is highly energy efficient and the versatility of our architecture let us contribute to fields ranging from AI to quantum physics to digital biology to climate science. We have some great new acceleration libraries for you today. The first is Reopt, an accelerated solver for operations research optimization problems, like delivery vehicle routing and warehouse picking and packing. There are 87 billion ways to deliver 14 pizzas. It's not so easy for Domino's to deliver pizza in under 30 minutes. Operations optimization is needed for last mile delivery, but also warehouse and manufacturing logistics. Route planning is an extremely hard logistics problem. At industrial scale, even small routing optimizations can save billions of dollars. This example uses a virtual warehouse in NVIDIA Omniverse to show the impact of optimized routing in an automated order picking scenario. An optimized plan results in orders picked in half the time and half the distance traveled. Current routing solvers can take hours to rerun and respond to incoming new orders. NVIDIA Reopt runs continuously and dynamically reoptimizes in real time. When new orders come in after the robots deploy, reoptimize. When a robot goes offline, reoptimize. NVIDIA Reopt responds in seconds and scales for thousands of locations. For the first time, we can now capture the dynamic behavior of the real world and respond not just intelligently, but optimally. Reoptimize your logistics today. Quantum computing. Relying on the natural quantum physics phenomenon of superposition and entanglement has the potential of solving problems that grow with combinatorial complexity. Nearly 100 teams around the world in universities, science labs, 
enterprises, and startups are doing research in quantum processors, systems, simulators, and algorithms. It is expected to take another decade or two to build a useful quantum computer. In the meantime, the industry needs a super fast quantum simulator to validate their research. So we created the Ku Quantum DGX Appliance. With an acceleration library for quantum computing workflows that speeds up quantum circuit simulations using state vector and tensor network methods. The first accelerated quantum simulator will be Google CERC. The speed up is terrific. Here are results of Quantum Fourier Transform, Shor's algorithm used to break public key cryptography, and Google Sycamore circuit. A simulation that takes months can now be done in days. We're working on optimizing all the popular simulators. NVIDIA Research achieved a major milestone in quantum algorithm simulation. Using 1,688 qubits to find a solution for a max cut of 3,375 vertices. This is the largest ever exact quantum circuit simulation, eight times more qubits than ever simulated before. With Ku Quantum on DGX, quantum computer and algorithm researchers can invent the computer of tomorrow with the fastest computer today. The Quantum DGX appliance will be available in Q1. Python is the programming language of scientists and ML and AI researchers. Python has a rich ecosystem of libraries. Pandas for data analytics on data frames, NumPy for analytics of n-dimensional arrays and matrices, Scikit-learn for machine learning, SciPy for scientific computing, PyTorch for deep learning, and NetworkX for studying graphs and networks. There are nearly 20 million users of Python. Today, we're announcing KuNumeric, a drop-in accelerator for NumPy, zero code change. KuNumeric accelerates NumPy, scaling it from one GPU to multi-GPU to multi-node clusters to the largest supercomputers in the world. The parallelism is done implicitly and automatically. QDF is pandas-like. QML is scikit-learn-like. QGraph is networkx-like. They are part of NVIDIA's Rapids open source Python data science kit. Rapids has been downloaded half a million times this year, over four times more than last year. Ku Numeric is built on Legion, which schedules tasks across CPU, GPU, and DPU computing units, across a data center in very similar ways as a modern CPU schedules instructions across its ALUs and load store units, like modern out-of-order execution CPUs that automatically extracts instruction-level parallelism and dynamically reorder the execution. Legion extracts task-level parallelism and dynamically reorders and dispatches the execution of these tasks, often out of order, across the entire data center. Legion is a data center scale compute engine, and KuNumeric is a data center scale math library. NumPy was downloaded 122 million times in the last five years. NumPy is used by nearly 800,000 projects on GitHub. Developers are going to be thrilled with KuNumeric. The scalability of KuNumeric is excellent. On the famous CFD Python teaching code, KuNumeric scales to 1,000 GPUs with only a 20% loss from perfect scaling efficiency. Reopt. Ku Quantum. Ku Numeric. Three fantastic new libraries. Let me show you the roadmap of my talk. I'll update you on big initiatives we're working on and introduce new ones that will shape our industries. A constant theme you'll see, how Omniverse is used to simulate digital twins of warehouses and plants and factories, of physical and biological systems, the 5G edge, robotics, self-driving cars, and even avatars. You'll see how leading edge computer graphics, physics simulations, and AI came together to make Omniverse possible, and how the computing platforms and accelerated libraries we built lay the foundation to make Omniverse a reality. Data center scale computing. 
million X science, omniverse, AI, avatars, robotics and self-driving cars. We have a jam-packed GTC. But before we jump into data centers, I want to show you something we've been building, a conversational AI, toy me. You're going to see speech understanding, natural language processing on the largest model ever trained, speech synthesis with my own voice, character animation, and beautiful ray trace graphics, all in real time. Toy Me was made with some amazing technologies that have become possible only recently, and barely so. I asked a few friends to ask this cute little guy some tough questions. Let's take a look. Hi. Hello. Hello, Toy Jensen. Hi, please ask me anything. What are the greatest threats of climate change? The greatest threats of climate change are the effects on human health, food security, water supplies, and the environment. How do astronomers look for exoplanets? Most exoplanets are found via the transit method. That was the case for the TRAPPIST-1 planets. Tell me more about that method. The transit method is when a planet passes in front of its star. The amount of light block tells astronomers the size of the planet. The duration of the transit tells astronomers the orbital period of the planet. What telescopes use that method? The Kepler Space Telescope used the transit method to find thousands of exoplanets. I've heard about a satellite called TESS that is used to find planets. How does it work? TESS is a space telescope that looks for transits. What roles do proteins play in our cells? Proteins are the building blocks of the body. They are the basic materials from which all living things are made. They are needed for the structure, function, and regulation of the body's tissues and organs. How do they work? Proteins are made up of amino acids. Amino acids are the basic building blocks of proteins. There are 20 different amino acids that link together in different combinations to form different proteins. How do they catalyze chemical reactions? Proteins are biological catalysts. Catalysts are substances that speed up the rate of a chemical reaction without being consumed by the reaction. Enzymes are proteins that catalyze and increase the rate of biochemical reactions in the body. Thank you. Goodbye. Sure, anytime. <laughs>